But as far as the size and the intensity, I mean, it was a significant blast. A man accused of setting off an explosive in his SUV just as deputies started to close in. And all of this could be tied to a much bigger investigation. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. I'm Jeff Gianola. This all happened along 185th near Rock Creek in Washington County this afternoon. The FBI was serving a warrant on a suspect, 26-year-old Jason Schaefer. Agents believed he had explosives inside his apartment. Our Andrew Dimbert had been on that scene since the very beginning. He's live tonight with the very latest for us. Andrew? Yeah, well, Jennifer, Jeff, as you can see, 185th has since reopened, but I can tell you that earlier this evening, this was a very tense scene. Everybody that was around here was on edge as bomb squad units moved in to that SUV just to make sure there were no other explosives. Isn't something else going to happen, like an explosion? I mean, we really didn't quite know what was going on. A harrowing afternoon for local and federal authorities after the FBI and Washington County Sheriff's Office tried to serve a warrant on 26-year-old Jason Schaefer related to explosives he may have had inside of his apartment off Highway 26 at 185th. But as far as the size and the intensity, I mean, it was a significant blast. While serving the warrant, investigators spotted Schaefer in this white Honda CRV just outside of his apartment. He took off, leading authorities on a short chase before getting stuck in traffic. Deputies then moved in. Panicked parents and children at a nearby park watched it all unfold. The cops screaming and yelling, get out of the car, get out of the car. And then very shortly after, a, a real loud noise. That loud noise, believed to be an explosive device, Schaefer detonated as law enforcement approached. Saw that there was a guy um, just like kind of like leaning out of the car with blood. A Washington County Sheriff's deputy went to the hospital but was released a few hours later. But Schaefer was seriously hurt. And considering how many vehicles, innocent people, and law enforcement were around at the time of the blast, everyone involved counting their blessings tonight. Could have been much, much worse. So as the FBI says that this could be part of a larger investigation, questions still remain, like did Schaefer actually have additional explosives inside of his apartment? And if so, what was he planning on doing with them? And was his intent here tonight to kill? Reporting live from Washington County, Andrew Dimber for Coin6 News. And our team coverage of this explosion continues now with more details about why Jason Schaefer was under investigation by the FBI before his dramatic arrest. Our Jennifer Dowling is digging into his background and has the details on that. Jen? Good evening. Well, this warrant shows that the FBI got tipped off to Schaefer after he started buying a large amount of materials that could be used to make a bomb. After a search of his apartment, a warrant was issued for his arrest. Long before the explosion and arrest today, Jason Schaefer was on law enforcement's radar. We were looking for him. Court documents state that he was previously convicted of assault, too, in New York State. And this spring, he pleaded guilty to being a felon in possession of body armor in Washington County. Jason was on probation for that offense. When an FBI bomb technician started to notice, he was stocking up on dangerous chemicals. In late September, agents said Schaefer bought an explosive liquid called nitromethane, remote starters, and over 100 electric matches. Around three days later, a monitor reported that he purchased one pound of of hexamine. That chemical is often mixed with others to form an explosive that's commonly used in suicide bombings. Yesterday, a judge approved a search warrant for Jason's apartment, and he was called into the probation department for an interview. During questioning, he stormed out of the building. We were serving a search warrant at his apartment, uh, so we were looking for him also. The search turned up the explosives and electric matches, but Jason was still missing, his whereabouts unknown. Eventually, he did return to his apartment while law enforcement was still there. We were executing the search warrant when he came back and the detective spotted him and he took off. And that same warrant stated that he could face a minimum of 10 years in prison for being a felon in possession of explosives. Back to you. Oh, this story isn't over yet. Jennifer Dowling live in our newsroom tonight. Thank you for that. Yeah, it is not over. A lot of unanswered questions will continue to follow developments from this explosion. We'll have the latest coming up on Coin 6 News this morning.